Okay, before we start our bike riding unit, there are some street signs that you need to know what they are, and you could make your own signs at home that look like this. Railroad crossing, usually has an RR in it, railroad. Need to stop and look both ways, um, or at least slow down when approaching and look both ways to make sure a train is not coming over the railroad tracks. Yield signs. This means you have to yield to oncoming traffic. You only stop if there's an another car coming in the road that you are going into if you have this sign on your street. Stop sign. You must stop whenever you see a stop sign while you are driving your car or your bike. Walk signs. You must pay attention to this, especially while driving a car so that you don't run over people. Walk signs mean that there are people present. Do not enter sign. This means that usually the street is closed to traffic. Um, so do not enter. Traffic would usually include bicycles. Stop light traffic sign. The green is on the bottom, then yellow, then red. You could make some of these signs at home so that when you're driving your bike, you can place them outside and practice using the correct signs. Speed limit sign. You probably see these all the time driving around in your car and speeds will vary. In school zones, speeds tend to be slower. This means 25 miles an hour. One way sign. This means all traffic is going one way on the street, usually the way the arrow is pointing. School zone, slow down. You must slow down when entering a school zone if children are present. Fines are doubled if you are caught speeding in a school zone. Okay, we made all of our signs for our traffic and our biking, and we're gonna make a little uh, city on the road with chalk and street lanes for our bikes to go. Now we have to learn some hand signals. Okay, when you are on your bike, uh, cars don't know which way you're going to turn. You don't have lights like a car does, blinkers <laughs> and brake lights. So you have to tell the cars what you're doing, okay? So with your left hand, your uh, right hand is gonna stay on your, whatever you're riding, your scooter, your razor, your bike, and uh, on your handlebar and your left hand is going to tell put out your left hand guys right here there you go your left hand is going to tell the traffic behind you and around you what you're doing so if you want to turn uh, right you're going to make a 90 degree uh, angle with your left arm okay Tanner okay. can you do that 90 degree, make that bend, there you go, that's turning right. If you are turning left, you're gonna point to the left, okay? Straight uh, palm out. If you are stopping, you are going to put your palm towards the traffic behind you, right angle towards the ground. This tells people you are stopping. Uh, left hand, guys, your right hand will stay on your handlebars of whatever you're riding. Or maybe you're not riding anything. Maybe you're on your roller blades and you can still do these hand signals. So quick review, turning right. Show me turning right. Other arm, Tanner, there. Turning left, stopping. Excellent. Now we have to make our city. All right, we have created our own little uh, street village center with chalk and we used a lot of our street signs. Before you start riding, two things you need to do. One, you need to be wearing a helmet. Make sure the strap cannot be pulled over the chin. Um, and two, make sure that you have shoes that cover your toes so that you don't end up with foot injuries. All right, I'm gonna watch Brighton ride through our little city and we'll pay attention to some of the signs as we go. Go ahead, Brighton. Maybe. Make sure you stay on the road. We've got our roundabout here. Well. This is a one-way street. Put our street signs out, following him down the street here. He's going to another roundabout here. We've got the post office here, right there. 
and we have he drove out here and he paid attention to the stop sign but I didn't see him use his hand signal for the stop sign remember left arm down at a 90 degree angle going around the roundabout we've got a walk sign here here's a crosswalk so you need to pay attention look for walkers we're going into another roundabout and here's a yield sign remember that you only stop here if there's oncoming traffic in the circle or traffic coming the same way that you need to be going which is this way okay that's when you'd stop otherwise you just slow down make sure nobody's coming and you can go going down here let's check out some of our other signs we've got train tracks here there's a railroad crossing sign here's our train tracks probably could have made two railroad crossing signs one for each side here is our tank parking speed limit 10 miles an hour this is a do not enter zone into the neighbor's driveway another roundabout down here and this way if we come here we've got an intersection four streets coming together I'm gonna go over here to McDonald's this McDonald's is special they only serve vegetables Parking. And to get out of McDonald's, we have a stop light. The red light is on, so you need to stop. Okay. Hope you enjoyed our homemade video of our little city and what you can learn with your bikes and riding. Use your hand signals for your signs that you made. You can make signs of your own, too, that mean different things. Have a great night. Bye.